Hello! So, if you entered the contest on the Krusty Crates webpage as to how many Earth Globe stress balls will fit into one mini crate, you are now going to find out how many will fit into one mini Krusty Crate. So, in order to do that, to figure out how many of these Earth Globe stress balls will fit into one mini Krusty Crate, we need to calculate. We're going to calculate the volume of the Krusty Crate, right? And then we're going to calculate the volume of the sphere, and then we're going to divide those two. So first, the volume of the Krusty Crate is going to be length times width times height. I gave you those dimensions. That number calculates out to 470 and 31 inches cubed. There we go. The volume of the sphere of the Earth globe stress ball. 4 thirds pi r cubed. Pi being 3.14, r being radius. I told you this was three inches in diameter. So what's radius? Half the diameter. That's right. So half of three, 1.5. So you're going to take 1.5, and you're going to cube that, multiply it by pi, times it by four, divided by three, and you're going to get this. 14.13 inches cubed. Okay. Now, so get the number of spheres. If you melted them all down and you poured them in, it was very hot and they all melted down so there's no space, that'd be the volume of the crate, 470, divided by the volume of the sphere, 1413. So you'll take 470.31 divided by 14.13. If you do the calculations, it comes to 33.28. Rounding down, that'd be 33. But that would be if you melted melted all my little lovely earth globe stress ball down. Don't do that. No. We have to account for the fact that there's going to be there's going to be air space in between those little round things, right? So, I told you the packing density, like you're all going to be packaging engineers now, and you're going to have to take that into consideration. So, you take that 33.28 and you multiply it by the packing density value that I gave you, which is basically saying that you're not going to fill this 100% with these lovely little earth globe stress balls all melted down. You're going to fill it 70% because of the spaces in between the spheres themselves. So 33.8 times a 0.69 gives you 22.96. That looks awfully close to 23, and I don't expect you to cut any stress balls up. So you're going to round up, yes, not down to 23, 22, but up to a whole sphere of Ta-da! 23! All right, so now let's test our calculations, shall we? Okay, so we have our Earth Globe, we have our mini Krusty crate. Let's set that down there. We've got two in there so far. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, oh, let's see if there's a pattern. Oh, pattern! Facet center cubic, eight. All right, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, all right, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Let's do the shake test. And they don't fall out. Awesome. So 23 of these lovely little earth globe stress balls will fit into one mini Krusty crate. That is the awesome power of the Krusty awesome packing power of the Krispy Kreme. So now let's see who wins the $50 in cash and prizes out of the correct answer sent in. Here we have the people's entries who had the correct answer of 23. So let's see who the lucky, lucky winner is. It was also very smart since they calculated. And the winner is... I reuse paper. Winner is Jade Thresher. So Jade Thresher, you are the winner of the $50 in cash and prizes. $25 cash and $25 at the Krusty Crate store. And for the rest of you who are in here, you all will receive an Earth Globe stress ball for entering the contest. I want to thank you very much for using your brains and calculating. And Remind you to grocery shop with Krispy Crates because they save plastic bags. And remind you to continue to reduce, reuse, and recycle. And save the earth. 
one crusty crate at a time.